Welcome back. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. It's Tragic Life here with a with. We're about to fight Ganon. We're gonna end this game today. Um, I'm struggling on this boss. This boss is a little cheaper sometimes. He's got an easy pattern. I'm trying too much. Uh, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna talk my way through it. I'm gonna explain it. He's, he's not really difficult. His last form can be. His first part is easy if you take your time. The second one, you're probably gonna get hit. The third one, you're probably gonna get. The fourth one isn't that difficult, but it's very easy to make a mistake and fall into the gap and have to restart the fight. Um, if it wasn't for that, I would have already beat this guy. Um, I've been on the last hit twice and been knocked into the pit. So, it's a problem. It's not that hard, I'm probably, Overthinking it as a video, a uh, lot of filling it to the uh, let's play curse, as many have called it. Um, so, the two things you really need you're gonna need a fire rod and the arrows. That's the key. Um, this does not hit them, so don't shoot them with a laser. You have to hit them directly. Um, if you restart or you fall through, you can go, you're gonna need your life back. And that's fine. Um, what you can go, you go to the Lake Helia uh, in the light world. Go to the cave where you run into the fairy who maximizes your bombs and arrows. And there's a weak wall to the right of her that has four fairies. Um, you can capture four of them for your uh, empty bottles, and then you can use the, you can come, you can leave and come back and get four. Um, without further ado, we're going to go uh, start this fight. I'm going to try to hit him really... You can hit him before he starts talking. I've not been able to do it, but it's possible. Let's see if I can do it. I got him. And yes, that counts. So this is stage one. Hit him twice. Move away. I went the wrong way. It happens. So this thing is pretty easy to dodge. The hardest part is... It follows where he goes. Um, he's probably going to do the second stage now. This is my least favorite. It's, it doesn't look that difficult. The second part of this one is weird. They're going to turn into flaming bats. Alright, now I'm going to get away from him. Take your time. Don't rush. Uh, which way is he going to go? He's probably going to go up in this corner here. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. He hits hard, as you can see. Um, okay, we're doing really good. This phase isn't that difficult. It's a more of annoyance. Oh wow, he's got a bad running start. All right. So now he's doing phase three. This is, you can fall into that crack. Don't do that or you'll have to start the entire fight from scratch. Sometimes he'll do the uh, flaming bat around him. Sometimes he won't. Uh, the bat can be dangerous because the bat can actually really knock you into the pit. So you want to have your flame torch out here because you're going to do this trick of darkness. What you're going to do... Hit him and then shoot him with an arrow. Ah, oh, I could have got twice. You only have to hit him four times. So here, go ahead and dodge this. I wouldn't even attack him yet. Let him do his thing. Okay, now I'm gonna do this one. When he comes back down, all right, I, I did it too soon. All right, you only have to do this four times. If you're lucky, you can hit him twice. One more and he's done. You see that? That's what I'm talking about. I'm glad I got to show you. So I'm not going to panic. That's actually a good way of showing you. It's dangerous to be down there, but I mean, what can I do? Hey, be right back. All right, we're back. He had one more hit. Like that, that's... I'm going to get him. It's just a matter of time. Okay, so we went this way. Alright, you only got 
one round in the first phase. So he's probably going to come to this corner, so we're going to go down here. See what I'm doing wrong, and I think I'm, I think I think I'm kind of understanding what I need to do. You won't see the entire fight. You're just gonna see the one that win. So if this one doesn't turn into a win, then you're not gonna see this fight in the top. Right, so. Hit him. I might have a problem with magic at this point. Last shot. Oh. Oh. I got him. 
and there we go. I'm glad it took me a little bit longer so you guys don't get a three minute video, you know what I mean? this game and never actually owning it I'm finally going to beat it that feels pretty good guys you guys get to celebrate that with me welcome Dan I am the essence of the Triforce the next game is going to be a big surprise I'm going back to something I started a long when I first started this channel. Okay. The Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart and mind of the person who touches it. And it's not going to be an RPG. It's going to be an action game. I've already beaten two of them on here. The person with a good heart touches it. It will make his good wishes come true. If an evil heart and person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. So, it's a wish granter. Cool. The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce expression of that wish. There's more than three of the games. This is the one that I'm going to be doing next, and the third in the series is my favorite. I think they kind of go downhill from there, and that's my personal opinion. Um, the last one I came up with was almost free, but you can tell they didn't finish this the concept. Ganon's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. They should do that game. To the Dark World. I'm telling you, you'll find out on Thursday. Tune in. Ganon was building up his power here so he could conquer the light world and make his wish come completely true. But now, you have totally destroyed Ganon. His dark world will be in the middle of vanish, and he'll never ever come back again. The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Touch it with a wish in your heart. Vultures rule the desert, desert palace. We got something stealing treasure back there. Someone stealing treasure back there. The bird's gonna get him. The bully makes a friend. Mountain tower. Your uncle recovers. Hey! Flippers for sale. Lumberjack, Woods, Woodman Hut. Flute Boy plays again, Hana Grove. Venus, Queen of Fairies, is she beautiful again? She is. Dwarven Swords. The 
bug catching kid. Hey, buddy. the next game that I'm playing, and I haven't even tested to see if it works, so hopefully it'll eat my words. I do have a backup. And the Master Sword sleeps again. I have a backup. If that game does not work, you'll never know about it. Um, I will play a, a classic, very hard to find RPG. Forever? I don't think so. Alright. Is there more? Is that it? I think that's it. Alright, so... I don't generally do the credits, because it's all music, and I don't like to talk this much. Um, this is a phenomenal game. Um, I've loved it ever since I was a kid. I've never owned it. Um, so I've never beaten it. I've gotten into it before. I don't know how far I've gotten before. Like, it, there's things I remember, and I don't know if I remember me playing, or... If I remember other people playing, because I had I had a friend on my mom's side, so every time she came into town, we'd go over there, and I would we'd stay there, and I'd play this game. Um, Act Razor was another one, um, which I've beaten on this. Um, Act Razor Two wasn't any wasn't as good. I may one day dive into it just because I'm curious, and they remade it, so I would be maybe looking at the remake. I'm not guaranteeing that because generally the remakes are not that good, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, this was the second Zelda game I've beaten on it will, be, it will not be the last. Um, uh, I don't know if the next one in the series. I'm not doing, I've decided, I'm not doing the second one. I have beaten it, and it took a lot to beat um, on my side. So I'm not sure if I really want to attempt that right now. I don't think I'm at that level of gaming and recording to get that done. Because that's going to take a lot. Um, that game is... I, honestly, I think that's the hardest one in the series. Uh, just unforgiving. Even when you start to kind of master it and learn it, it's still pretty unforgiving. Uh, so, without further ado, I'm going to leave it here. You're still going to get a little bit of video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have suggestions of games to play, let me know. I'm not guaranteeing that I will play them. But if they're in my wheel box or something that sounds interesting, even if it's a little bit different, I may. You never know. Um, I do live channels as well on Twitch. You'll catch me on here, same name, Tragic Life. Uh, right now I'm doing Tomb Raider. So I do different games live than I do games here because these games are easy to record. Tomb Raider is not so easy to record. Too many devs, too much editing. I don't have that time uh, with my new job and, and balancing my life with my wife and my my pup, he's not a pup, but he's still a pup. So without further ado, I'm going to get up here. Um, so until next time, adios amigos.